So I think there are three elements to the Welsh foundational economy approach. The first is uh, what we're announcing today is the experimental. So the one and a half million pound that we agreed uh, with Plaid Cymru as part of the uh, budget settlement uh, a couple of years ago, uh, we're announcing today that, that we're cracking on with that. Uh, it's going to be applied, it's going to be sector neutral. Uh, so it's, it's open to all comers, uh, state, public, voluntary sector, to, to, to bring us your ideas of how you can apply the principle of the foundational economy in your, uh, in your area. And that, I think, that is a, a, a bold approach for government because we're saying it is experimental. These, not all of these projects will succeed. They will fail. Some aren't particularly exciting. Um, but let's give it a go. And it's a relatively small amount of money to start, one and a half million, but already we're looking to how we can add to that. Uh, we're talking to the Cardiff City deal about the potential of matching funding. There are other Welsh government projects. I'm very keen the Valley Task Force that I chair will also put some money into this as well. So I think there are things we can do with an ex explicitly experimental approach, and that's, that's exciting. Let's celebrate the fact that it's experimental, not bemoan the fact that some of it will fail. Let's celebrate and learn from failure, uh, and, that's, and, that's, and that's okay. Uh, the second element is, uh, is a Preston Plus approach. Uh, and I think, you know, I th when I went to visit with Jenny Rathbone, uh, Matthew Brown in Preston uh, in the autumn, uh, the thing that impressed me most was, you know, this is a, this is a little borough council the size of Swansea uh, in, a, in a poor part of England uh, who have not found excuses for what they can't do. They focus on what they can do. Uh, and the thing that the Deputy Chief Executive said to me that stuck with me, he said, this was easier than we, than we thought it was going to be. We told ourselves all sorts of stories about how procurement rules stopped us from doing this, and this was all done within existing procurement rules. And it was done without increasing cost and without reducing quality. And it's had an impact. Preston now has been lifted out of the bottom five poorest parts of England, and five of the six, six local anchor institutions are living wage employers, which is perhaps one of the single most significant things that we can do to improve the local economy, is pay people a, a decent wage. So, but, but clearly, Preston is a borough council. If we're going to apply this on a national scale, we need to iterate it. Uh, and one of the things I think, you know, the, the frustrating things I found, so Preston has been an inspirational in doing. Uh, Wales has been inspirational in talking. Uh, for a long time. Uh, and when you think, you know, this is the founding thinkers of the foundational economy are here. You know, the great miserableist Carol Williams sitting down <laughs> the, the front here, you know, developed a lot of this thinking based on the economy of Llanachie, the mundane economy, he called it. You know, Keith Edwards sitting next to him, less miserable. Uh, <laughs> also, son of Llanachie, did a lot of important work 10 years ago on, on the can-do toolkit in, in housing. And as ever, we did a pilot project and then the caravan moved on. Uh, and others have taken it up and applied it. But we need to reclaim that, 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 that Welsh leadership, that Llanachi leadership, uh, to make this, to make this uh, agenda real. So we'll be looking at a Preston Plus, because the, 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 we'll be Carol will be talking about this later, I'm sure, but the, the Preston approach to procurement has been a postcode approach, and I think we need to move to a more relational approach to procurement. We develop longer supply chains, not simply based on the geography, but based on how we can benefit the third element, which is grounded firms. That, I think, is the third pillar of the Welsh foundational economy approach. How do we tackle that missing middle that we've long analysed and discussed, the phenomenon where we have the egg timer shape to the Welsh economy. We have a small number of very large firms, uh, a mountain of one man in the van micro firms, and a small number of medium sized firms. And how do we grow the small into the medium? And how do we stop then the medium selling out, cashing out when those founders uh, uh, have uh, reached the end of their time uh, and that being lost to the Welsh economy? So explicitly, this is a pro business agenda but it's pro-grounded business, it's pro-local business, it's, it's the businesses that have a stake in their economy. Uh, I was discussing with James Davis last night, another honorary son of Hinaki, the former manager of the Calsonic factory in, in the town who went to Japan to be the European leader and has now come back to help us with our work uh, here. And uh, he and I were talking about examples of what we thought a grounded firm was. And the example we both uh, seized upon was Parker Plant Hire in Hinaki. Uh, hires proto-cabins, cement mixers, 
the mundane, unglamorous, and sexy part of the economy. But my God, is that a rooted, grounded firm? And George Parker, the, the, the managing director there, is a salt of the earth man of the town who gives to all sorts of local causes. And when the great uh, slump hit in 2008, it was his personal savings to make sure that nobody was laid off. Uh, and you walk into his uh, uh, his uh, outfit, then you, you know there's a little life of Mar life of Mars. You know, it's back in the 1970s. He's, you know, the filing cabinets are still there, but the values and the commitment to his town and the role he sees himself as playing there is in, is inspiring. And the same of Burns Pet Food in Kidwaley. Uh, these you know these exist beyond the Cardiff radar, but this is what makes the Welsh economy tick. And we've taken them for granted and not supported them. And they're still there. You know, fair play to them. They are still there. But some of them are struggling. And we need to do more to explicitly help them make a contribution to the fabric of our, uh, of our communities. Uh, so those three elements, I think, are the key. The good news is a lot of this work is, is happening. And, you know, and it's great to have the context of, of, of international and national examples, but we, we've also got the domestic examples. You know, and that we'll be hearing about them through the day uh, of, the, of, the, of the housing associations, the care sector, uh, who, who are doing experiments in this now. And I think we need to learn from that. We need to scale it up. Let this not be another bloody pilot project. This has got to be mainstreamed. And I'm very pleased that uh, the senior officials from the Welsh Government are here uh, with us in force today. And we need to think about how we bake this into the new regional economic plans we're going to be developing uh, as part of the economic action plan, how we bake it into the local service boards uh, that, are, that, that are sitting out there, having gone through endless meetings to draw up local plans. Now we can give them a real project to focus on. Let us bake it into the social care work that we're doing. Uh, to, to the, and, and, and let's not just think about this as procurement. It's not just about procurement. That's a, a key part of it. But every part of Wales, every sector, the police forces, the UK government organisations are here, the private sector, all have a responsibility to engage in this. And we, in this room, are the people who are going to make this happen. We have the power. All the stuff we're talking about, we can do it. If Preston Borough Council can do it, then we can do it. So let's get on with it and do it. Diolch.